blows from Calvary's fountain near the cross near the cross be Oh, Lord, we know that the proud 
Lord, change, it changes things. Yes, Lord. Lord we pray. We don't have a little prayer. And we just ask you just come on in. Lord, yes. Come on in and just have your way. Lord, have your way in our lives, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray that they all out there hear your voice. Your voice will open up and just let you in. For you knocking at the heart. You knocking at the heart right now. I pray that they want And just give on in and say, yes, to you. Yes, Lord. That your will may be done. Richly in their life. In Jesus' name. Jesus, Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little one to him below. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loved me. Yes, Jesus loved me. Yes, Jesus loved me. For the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves you, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little one to him below. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, yes, yes. To know this morning that yes, yes. Jesus loves us. Yes, yes. That he came down through a virgin birth and died on an old rugged cross. Yes, that you and I and whoever believes on him yes. should have a right to the truth of life. Yes, yes. Greater love is no one than this. That somebody lay down their life yes. for their friend. And we know that Jesus is our friend. Yes, oh, praise be unto God. For God demonstrated his love toward us. Yet while we were sinners, Christ Jesus died for us. Now what greater love than that? How, how better way can you demonstrate a love than somebody going to Catholic Cross for you? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, I wouldn't give up my life for nobody. <laughs> Amen. But Jesus did, Sister Brazil. Yes. He gave it all and all to him. What? We all, amen, praise be unto God. Amen, we're just so thankful to God. We don't have a lot of announcements this morning, but we just want to thank uh, our cameraman, Brother Fred, for continuing to do an outstanding job and doing that hard. Amen. And, and it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of work and it's a lot of frustration. I know sometimes I get some of these nerves, but amen, we got to do this for the Lord. We're working for the Lord. Amen. We will do this. To get this gospel out, amen, it takes time. I have to study. I have to meditate. I have to do a lot of things just for a 15-minute sermon. But at the same time, it calls for a lot of work. Amen. And I want to thank those that are here this morning. Amen. And those that might tune in on this website for remember, what you do for Christ will last. Amen. What you do for Christ Jesus will last. Regardless of what people think about it or what people think about you, working for the Lord will pay off yes, after a while. Yes, I said working for the Lord is going to pay off oh, after a yes, while. Sir. All that you want, all that you want of God, if you just hold out this morning and Amen. hold on this morning, I guarantee you, God is going to pay you. Amen. Amen. Work while it is gay. And Jesus said, for when the nighttime cometh, no man can work. Amen. Praise be unto God. Again, thank Brother Craig and, and amen. And thank those that tunes in on our website. We don't have that many viewers right now. Amen. But whoever tunes in on this website, I want you to know God is going to reward you for your faithfulness. Amen. All right now, we're getting ready to go to the St. James Baptist Church this evening, Peach Creek. For Pastor Sorrell's anniversary, we're going to go with him and celebrate, I believe it's two years, and we're going to go out and lift up the name Jesus. I love good preaching. I love good singing. Amen. I like to cheer me. If, when you start up to preach, and if you can't preach, and I'm behind you, you're going to preach. Amen. Praise be unto God. I love good preaching. Amen. Amen. And we don't know who the speaker is, but whoever it is, I'm going to receive a blessing. 
Amen. Amen. Praise be unto God. Brother Fred, if there's anything else we're not, anything else I'm leaving out, I think that's about all of the announcements. We haven't really got into our New Year calendar yet, but amen, we're going to work on something. We just thank God once again for the Pioneer Village for uh, letting us come out here and hold our service every Sunday morning. Free of charge here yeah, at Brazil. We don't have to do nothing but show up and have our worship service. Yeah. Even sometimes I get frustrated. I get a little down and out in my spirit because I, I think I should have a church house full of people. But I, I keep forgetting one thing, El Brazil. God didn't tell me how many I was going to preach to. Amen. He didn't tell me I was going to have a house full. He didn't tell me I was going to have a hundred people. He didn't tell me I was going to have a thousand people. I got the commission to preach. Amen. And wherever he sent me, wherever I have to go, I got to preach until I can't preach no more. That's what I'm charged with. If it's nothing but one, my job is to what? Preach. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be unto God. Those that have a thousand, those that have a hundred, don't know how to preach. And they ain't grateful for what they do have. Amen. Praise be unto God. All right. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. I spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. I see me running through an open door. I believe I can fly. I'm going to say that again. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. I spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. I see me running through an open door. I believe I can fly. I was on the verge of breaking down sometimes my legs can seem so loud they were miracles in life i must achieve but first it starts inside of me but if i could see then i can do it if i just believe it it's nothing to it. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. I spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. I see me running through an open door. I believe I could fly, 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 I can fly. Faith coming by hearing. Amen. Hearing comes by the word of God. Whoa. Why can't we hear without the preacher? How can they preach? Except they be sick. Amen. 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 Praise be unto God. Amen. 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 Listen, y'all got any money to give unto the Lord? I we have to take an offer and come back later. Take it up now or take it up later. Either way you go, we'll take it up. Amen. If you if you got something to give the Lord, we'll take it up later. I Amen. Give it, later give it to us later on. Well, man, praise be unto God.
Then we're going to jump over to 2 Timothy chapter 4, and we're going to read at verse 1, a few of the following verses. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. That's right. Be instant, in season, out of season, uh -huh. reprove, rebuke, exalt yeah, yeah, yeah. with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. Amen. The time will come mm -hmm. when people will not endure sound, sound doctrine. Amen. I want to talk about for the next few minutes in times like this, uh -huh. we need to pray. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. In times like these, uh -huh. we need to pray. We need to pray, amen. Amen, there's a whole lot of things going on in our world. There's a whole lot of things going on in our country that, that it scares me to death even just to turn on the TV oh, Lord, to Jesus. hear the bad news that, that is going on in this country. Amen. We got a lot of young men that's falling down by the sword. Amen. Amen. If there's ever a time that we need to pray in a church and a country, it's right now. Amen. For we are living in dangerous times. Yes. If, yes. if we need Jesus, now is the time. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and Paul is telling this young preacher Timothy, this scripture was written over 2,000 years ago. Oh, yes. Amen. But, but he is reminding this young pastor, this young preacher, whatever the trouble is, whatever the situation is, Jesus Christ is going to bring you through it. Amen. And I stopped by to tell you this morning, whatever you are going through, whatever is knocking at your door, whatever is troubling you, Jesus Christ is going to see you through your trouble. But at yes. the same time, we got to pray. Yes. Amen. We got to ask God yes. to fix whatever it's bothering us. Amen. Amen. And, and, and we live in a world where people don't care no more. Oh. We live in a world where people don't love anymore. I remember 30 years ago, the word love automatically came out of a person's mouth. Yeah. Man, you can't yeah. get a person to look at you no more. Amen. Yeah. I remember amen, 30 years ago, people used to shake hands. Amen. Yeah. And once a man shake your hand, he gave you his word. Amen. Now we're living in a time where they'll roll your eyes at you. Oh, Amen. Lord. We're living in a world. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Everything, it seems to me, everything has changed. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Right yeah. Before yeah. I'm a very high. But Paul is reminding young Timothy, whatever the situation is, you preach the word of God. Yeah, right. The word of God is the only thing that is going to help us, Sister Brazil, and bring us through. Amen. Amen. Word of God. The word of God. Without the word of God, we just cannot please God. Yeah. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Yeah. So he that comes to God, hey, but yeah. we must believe that he is. Yeah. And that he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. Yeah. Paul is telling Timothy in chapter 3, verse 1, Know this also, that in the last days, purest times shall come. What that word mean, purest? That means dangerous times. Yeah. I'm scared sometimes to even walk out to the car and open my car door. You might get shot. That's how dangerous things get. But I'll stop by to tell you, I serve a God this morning that has all power and everything in his hand. I serve a God that will watch over us, guide us, and protect us, and keep us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Yeah. We're living a dangerous time. Time is changing. People have grown worse and worse. But if it's ever a time, Sister Brazil, that we need to pray, now is the time. Amen. Have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. He will make it right. And he will answer by and by. Oh, the fire is burning. Have a little talk with Jesus. Makes it right. Just have a little talk with him. Amen. Amen. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Amen. When a man thinks so highly of himself and cannot think of the next man, you, you are dealing with a very dangerous thing. When, when a man won't care, won't look you in the eye and talk with you. 
you and, and, and tell you that he's your friend. We live in a very dangerous world. Amen. But a man is so high minded going to live and he don't know which way to go and which way to turn. Amen. We're living in a very dangerous world. Yeah. The time is already here when men will not endure sound doctrine. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't turn a deaf ear to the truth. They don't want to hear things that is pleasing to them. They want to have itching ears. And somebody that's going to lie to them all the time. I stop by the table. I'm going to preach if I have to stand and preach all by myself. Give yeah. God some love praise up in there. Because you are to do me praise. Thank Jesus. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Paul tells Timothy, know this also. In the last days, purest times shall come. Oh, yes. Amen. We're going to have a lot of people that is saying that they, they are the Christ and not Christ. We're going to have a whole lot of markers. Amen. You know what a marker is? That's somebody that, that is pretending to be something that they are not. We got a lot of people that rise up and say, God has called them to preach and God ain't called them to do anything. But in their own lust, they're going to pick up the word of God and try to preach the word of God just to try to turn people on their side. But I'm not about to tell you, I got a God this morning. Oh, Lord, I'm going to get a God on my side. I got a God on my side, El Brazil, that's going to watch over me and he's going to guide me and protect me. And he'll let me know who he is. Oh, yeah. And he'll let me know who ain't. Oh, Lord, praise be unto God. Paul told Timothy, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the living and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. Refuse, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering. Sometimes you just gonna have to stand up and tell the truth. Sometimes people ain't gonna want to hear what you gotta say. Sometimes you're gonna have to suffer for the word of God. Sometimes people's gonna reject you because you preach the word of God. People's gonna reject you for you're standing up for what is right. Amen. Paul said, preach the word with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time is gonna come when they will not endure. Sound doctrine. Amen. It's a shame you have to be turn on the TV. It's bad news. It's no good news no more. No. We got a lot of things that is going on in this country that it just don't make sense. No. I no. never thought, amen, that they would pass a law where all of this stuff, people are getting married, giving in marriage, and all of this stuff here. And that's not of God. Yet still, they, they're taking the truth and turning it into a lie. But I'm about to tell you, God is going to judge the living and the dead. No, yeah. praise be unto God. They're not going to get away with what they're doing. No. It seems like it, but they're not. Praise be unto God. Hallelujah. I'm going to keep on preaching until I can't preach no more. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. In times like this, time like this, we need to pray. Amen. We need Jesus. Yes, we do. I need Jesus. We all. The world needs Jesus. Yes, yes. Our country needs Jesus. Oh, we need to get out. back to that old time religion. Yes. We need to get back to where when we used to go to church, the church house would be full of people. And when they'd be rejoicing and singing and praising the Lord, dancing, jumping up and down, yes. and praising God, thanking God for what he's done for them, and thank God for what he's going to do for them. Man. We need to get back there, and don't we, Ola? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, praise be unto Yes, we do. Amen. In time like this. In time like this. Amen. Dangerous times. Furious times. Yes, it is. Amen. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We never know. But thanks be unto God, we know who holds tomorrow. Yes, we do. And long as we know who holds tomorrow, oh, hallelujah. everything else is going to be all right. Praise be unto God. Amen. That's enough. God will take care of you through every day oh, yes. for always. He will take care of you. God
Martin, the Lieutenant Dick Parkman, this sanctuary, we're going to go out a separate way. We ask that you give us traveling grace as we travel up and down the Daniels Highway and Byway. We ask that you will continue to watch over not only us, but those that's going to tune in on this website. We pray for the sinner man, the woman, the boy, the girl that don't know you and part of their sin. The sick, the shut in, the bereaved family, the prison bound. Lord, we just ask your blessing upon everybody in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and we thank thee. Amen and amen. God love you, so do I. Go and be blessed. Go in peace. God love you. Amen. That was good. Amen. 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 Amen.